Hey everyone, I'm in the craft room and I am going to do a plaster craft with you today. And I was trying to do it last week and it didn't work very well. It is, I'm going to try to make kind of a plaque and you could also use it as a coaster. But I'm not doing this as a coaster, I'm doing it kind of as a wall hanging plaque. See that, that part I got right. And I was trying to put a fern in there to kind of have an imprint in plaster. And I did it before years ago and I don't know why it's not working now. So hopefully I'll but get it right this time. Okay, all I have is this baking sheet that I got at the party store and it's very thin and all I do is make a little frame out of it. It's very thin, very flimsy, but it's just what you need. You can go with something better, but it's not necessary to do that. And this you could just cut with regular scissors too. So I'm going to show you how to make a mold. And I wanted to kind of have the rough uneven edges. I don't need it to be perfect. Like this one, it gives you a bit of like a worn look. And I have this piece of wood that I had bought at the craft store for something else that I'm just going to be using as my template. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. And I'm going to push it up on all four sides. Start with each side here. And then push it up here. And then when you have the, the edges burnished, then all I'm going to do is take it, lay it down, I'm going to cut into the corner there, and cut the triangle out of each side like that. And that way when I fold it up, they meet right there. And then all I'm going to do is put them back together. And you could put this in here if you want to kind of have it as a guide to keep it straight, but the edges are not going to be straight, so I'm warning you that now. If you want it straight, you need to use a heavier metal. And then you're just going to take some plain masking tape and tear some off. Then you're just going to fold it around the corners like that. So that will prevent, hopefully, it'll prevent the plaster from leaking out of the corners. And you're going to do that on the other three corners as well. So there you go. And then all you got to do is pull out the wood. There it is. And what I'm going to do is just take regular Vaseline or petroleum jelly and smear it in here and I'm going to get into all the corners Then you take a paper towel or something and just kind of squish in there so that you don't necessarily have fingerprints in there so once you feel like you have it all covered it's time to make the plaster and the plaster you're just going to make the regular um, two to one ratio whatever your plaster instructions say when you have your plaster all ready to go then you're going to want to have your leaf put in here. And I'm using a thicker, broader leaf because I tried again with a stupid fern and I just cannot make that work. It just breaks off in there and gets covered with the plaster. So I'm going with a broader leaf that has some nice veining on there and I'm trying to get it to lay as flat as possible. And hopefully the plaster will do the rest. And then I'm just going to pour it in here right on the leaf. And then kind of spread it around. And then we're just going to have to let it sit and see how it turns out. You can feel it starting to set. So I took some wire that I got from the dollar store. And I think I'm going to put it in this way. And I'll put a little more plaster over it. Smear it all together and let it sit. We'll have to let it sit for a good 20 to 30 minutes and I don't know why my plaster is setting up crazy fast today. But it is, so we'll be back and we'll check it out. We're back to reveal the leaf imprint. I'm going to just peel this off. 
And then I'm going to very carefully pull the leaf off. And I don't know how well this will or won't work. It's not looking very promising yet. Actually, it's not too bad. It's better than I expected. The veining showed up pretty well. I just am going to have to work at getting the actual leaf parts out because it did end up coming up and it embedded itself. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. So there it is. I'm going to let this dry overnight so it gets nice and hard and then I'm going to do a wash on it. You can kind of see if I had, I don't know, if it didn't set up so quickly on me, it could be used as a coaster as well, but we're going to use this as a wall hanging. I'm back with my leaf tile, and I have let this dry for quite a while because I started working on other things. So I would say at least give it a couple days to fully dry before you move on. And I'm using a bright green acrylic paint and this brown iron oxide. But you could use any combination you want. It does not have to be this combination. You could go with like fall leaf colors um, for, or anything. I have a damp brush and I'm going to mix these two together and what I'm going to do is just start going over the whole thing here. But I'm going to kind of do it in sections because I don't want it to dry and soak in too much. Then I have a very damp paper towel. And what I'm going to do is kind of just wipe this off. Then I'm going to do the same thing in another section. I'm going to take a little bit more of the dark and just kind of go over the middle of the leaf where a lot of that veining is. Then I'll wipe it off. And you wipe as much as you want in some sections and as little as you want in others. And now it's got this worn kind of fossil-y look to it. And you have the hanger in the back to which it's now this really great wall hanging. And you could do, you could skip the hanger in the back, the wire in the back, and this could be a coaster. Now I'm going to put maybe like a satin finish, you could do a matte or a glossy finish on here. Um, and then, you know, with the satin or the glossy, you could easily use this as a coaster. So you could have these really cool, um, easy to make, fun coasters out of plaster. And I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, you guys. Cool.